Come on, Mario. Let's do this, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mario! What's up, guys? My sexy sauce. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Pack Wednesdays. As you see before you, we have the XY Flash Fire Booster Box with Charizard himself on the cover. And as you see here, we also have Mega Kangaskhan also in the back. You get the whole little description of the set right here, showing that basically that it has to do with Charizard mainly, if you couldn't figure that out already. So let's get this bad boy open and get started. All right. Oh, are you ready for this? Oh, oh that opened way too beautifully. All right. There we go. And flash fire. All right. So then, let's back this up a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Where should we start? Where should we start? Where should we start? I'm feeling the aura. Mega King is con or Mega King is con. Oh, oh, let's go for the right. All right. Let's grab our nine packs to start off, just so we get a good start. You know. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, a three. All right then. Let's get going right off the bat. As we said, Mega King is con. You guys have no idea how hype I am for this set. I've been waiting for it for months now. Glad to finally be opening these brand new cards. Right. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Okay. Here we go. First card of the set. We have Caterpie, but let's give him a nice little zoom in because he's earned it. Gen 1 status. Okay, there we go. We have Caterpie with Adaptive Evolution. Actually, very interesting ability. Hopefully, one day it'll be worth it because the Butterfree from this set, in my opinion, isn't so great. Uh, we have Helioptile after that, though. Ponyta, Binnacle, or Binnacle, Boizel, Magnetic Storm, um, a new stadium that isn't super great, but at the same time, I'm considering running for my Kingdrick or Ninja deck. Uh, I like Frozen City, I do, but Magnetic Storm is less of a drawback for myself. We also have Palpad, very interesting card actually as well. Oh, a reverse um, Lop Bunny, which is actually a rare as well. Very cool. And then we have a Fortress for our first rare. Thorn Tempest, not bad. Not being able to um, add one damage counter to any of your opponent's Pokemon just by evolving it and on the bench, wherever you want, really. All right, so there we go. Next pack. Let's see here. There we go, guys. We have Feebas. Bergmite, Roselia, Gumi, another Caterpie, Miltank with a powerful friend's attack, very nice, Rapidash, Fiery Torch, good for fire decks of course, a Reverse Floet, very cool, um, actually yeah, pretty darn cool, and then we have a Raw Rain Rare, alright, forgive me guys, I'm going to move this camera up just a little bit, there we go, alright. Okay, next up we have the beautiful, majestic Mega Charizard X. Alright. Ooh, these packs feel so hard to open, I do not know why. Need to go back to the GM. Alright, let's see here. Alright, here we go. You have that evil little sand dial right there in front. Another Bergmite, Pineco, Sfeel, Buneary, Sneasel. Miltank. All right, we have one Torkoal as well. One Reverse Esper. Look at those eyes. So mysterious. So devious. <laughs> and then we have a... Oh my god, we have a Hollow Dustmar. First freaking Hollow of the pa of the uh, set so far. And with the Shadow Void, actually a pretty interesting uh, um, ability. Pretty much the opposite of what you get from the Dustmar from Dragon's Exalted. Um, but still a great card nonetheless. Pretty happy to, to have pulled that. Next pack, we do have Pyro right there on the cover. Rare, you you all lying. Alright, jeez. If I wasn't dorky enough yet, that might have just made me a little more. Alright, here we go. Alright, guys. What we got here, what we got. We have a, when he wants to come into focus. There we go. One Stunky. One Duskull. One Flabebe. Pineco, Centret, I actually kind of like the art for that card, Nuzleaf, Pidgeotto, Graveler, one Reverse Sneasel, and a Weavile Rare, not bad at all, I didn't know this card didn't come in hollow though, that's too bad, 
but it doesn't want to focus either. There we go. He's just too beautiful. You can't catch it. You can't catch it. Very good. All right. Here we go. Next pack. Only one hollow so far, but it's okay. It's okay. We did get a reverse of a rare, so that's not so bad. Let's see what else we can pull. Still have a few more packs for this set. There we go. There we are. We have one Centret. Dusk Gold now. They want to focus for me. All right. Roselia looking beautiful. One Gumi. I really love the um, the graphics for this card. Five Band does a really good job as far as realism goes. I mean, I'm sure they can get the definition of it even sharper, but this is pretty good, in my opinion, anyway. Another Flabebe, also pretty good. Luxio, Rapidash. One Blacksmith, great for Fire Ducks as well. Reverse Feebas, one of the ugliest Pokemon in history. And we have a Pidgeot Rare. Freaking sick. Too bad. Again, this one isn't hollow, but still very good hand-drawn art. I really appreciate it. All right, here we go. And we also have our next pack with Mega Charizard Y on the front. When he wants to come into focus. There he is. Look how beautiful. So farious. So furious. Oh, my God. These packs do not want to open for me. I do not know what it is. They're not agreeing with me right now. That's okay. Okay. One, two, three. Sorry, I had to think about that for a moment. One Fletchling. I like the art to, for this card. Kind of weird. I don't believe there's actually another Talonflame in this set, but kind of random that they brought another Fletchling into it. That could have been any other Pokemon, but whatever. Shink, Sandile, C Dot, Pidgey, another Blacksmith, one Luxio, Maractus. I always have loved Maractus. I don't know why. It's just so goofy looking, I guess. Reverse Sneasel. Love the art for this Sneasel. And a Hollow Carbink. Very cool. Interesting a Crystal Barrier attack. Basically not allowing any damage to happen to it if you flip heads. And the Wonder Blast is not bad. You get 20, a uh, 40 plus 20, I should say, for each Fairy Energy attached to it. May not be worth it considering the, the Pokemon actually has such low HP. But in the end, you never know. Might pull out for you. Might pull out the win. But again, only 70 HP to play with. Well, you, yeah, I, I just don't know. I just don't know about that, whether it's worth playing or not. But a cool Pokemon nonetheless. I remember the first time I ran into one in uh, my X uh, version playthrough, and I thought it was like one of the coolest looking Pokemon ever. Wait, we have Shinx, Stunky, Litleo, Geodude, Feebas, Graveler, Protection Cube, great for freaking Mega Charizard Y. But you probably knew that already. Floet. Reverse Sacred Slash. If we can get it in focus. There we go. It's just so sacred. And we have a Helio Heliolisk Rare. Cool. Again, another one I did not know was not going to be um, a hollow for a rare. A lot of non-hollow rares in this set. Interesting. But I'm down. Here we go. Pack 8 out of 9 so far. Pack 8 out of 36, I should say. But that's okay. Here we go. We have Esper. When he wants to come into focus, I think it's using confusion. <laughs> All right, we have Esper with those creepy little eyes. <laughs> Spritzy. <laughs> Look forward to me commenting on those eyes through a lot of episodes of Pokemon Pack Wednesdays for the foreseeable future. Flabebe. Duskalops. Ultra Ball. I love the background art for this Ultra Ball. It's really cool. I was wondering, like, what's the point of really reprinting it? But it looks too cool. Come on. Reverse Golem. There we go. We have another Reverse Rare. There we go. And we have a Scrafty Rare. Again, another non-hollow rare. Like, what the F? But whatever. I'll take it. It's good. It's Pokemon Pack Wednesdays. We got this. And we have our final pack for this part. Here we go. Don't worry, guys. I will definitely be uploading the rest of the parts of these packs. I want you guys to see these pulls as much as I want to pull them myself. So do not worry. They will be up in the very near future. In the next couple days at the most. All right. Here we go. One through three, four, five. And again, before the end of each episode of Pokemon Pack Wednesday, let me give you a little code card just as a thanks for clicking the like button and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, it really means the world to me. The last part of Pokemon Pack Wednesdays was really fun. It seemed like you guys had a good time with it, and I'm glad for that. Here we go. Helioptile. One Centret. Litleo. Love the background graphics for this. One Gumi. Esper. Graveler. Metapod, again with the adaptive evolution. Hopefully one day it can evolve into a sick Butterfree. Sligu, Reverse Stunky, 
And we have a Let me just zoom out slightly because this art is ridiculous right now. Freaking cool. May not be the strongest EX to have ever arrived in, the, in a set, but definitely a good looking card at that. How do you like that, guys? For the first part, of the end of the first part of this box opening, we have ourselves a full art Magnazoni X. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's just review the other hollows we pulled. There aren't many, so don't worry. It won't be a long review. But we do have the Dusk Lapse Hollow when he wants to come into focus, you as usual. There he is. And we have our Carbine Hollow as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned very soon. The next part will be open, will be up before the next Wednesday. Um, but um, I believe the part four of this box opening will be on next Wednesday. Again, don't worry. There will be uh, the two other parts in between then throughout the weekend. So, guys, thank you so very much. I love you all. Bye-bye.